are in Austin, Texas. Thanks for coming along with us. We are going to get some barbecue in this town and we are starting at Franklin Barbecue. All right, we're here at Franklin's Barbecue. People in line were saying that the barbecue here is life-changing. I have not had it before, so I am all in. But we got here about... <laughs> Everyone's ready for some barbecue. Uh, we got in line about nine o'clock and uh, they just opened at 11. So everyone's excited. It's kind of a party atmosphere here in line, kind of like a tailgate. Uh, and we're all here for some delicious barbecue. So we got here at nine and apparently the guy first in line got here around 5 a.m. because he wanted to be the first in the door. I'd say that's dedication. Um, we do not normally get up that early. So nine o'clock was about the best we could do. But yeah, people bring chairs, they bring drinks, they open up inside, you can go in, they serve beer and you can drink it while you're waiting in line. And um, yeah, you just make friends with people online. We've met people from Australia and all over the country. So they're all here. They're all here to get the life-changing barbecue. <laughs> you said three quarters? Yeah. Are we doing uh, any ribs? Um, yes. About four ribs. Four bones. And uh, I just want a taste of turkey. Like a slice? Two slices? Yeah, just a slice. And then um, a quarter pound of pulled pork. Three quarters of brisket, four bones, quarter pork, one slice of turkey. Any uh, rib? Uh, yes. One helping yourself, one helping you. Let's do it. Star of the show has arrived here at Franklin's. All our meats, we got the brisket, we got our pulled pork, we got ribs, we got a slice of turkey, we got a sausage link, it's a jalapeno cheddar sausage link, potato salad, coleslaw, some bread if we wanna just make our own sandwich while we go about it. So, here we go. I'm not gonna put any barbecue sauce on this first bite, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. There's a reason people wait in line for many, many hours, and I don't know why I'm waiting any longer. I just, I want to, I want, I don't want to make Madeline wait any longer. I just want to. This is a huge plate of food. We have actually seen trays that were piled much, much higher than this. Um, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to try my first bit of brisket here at Franklin's. Let's cut a little bit off. Ooh. All right, here we are. We've traveled far, we've waited. Here it is. Oh yeah. 
that is worth the wait. It lives up to the hype, uh, just based on that first bite. Wow. You know, I've heard about this place for years. Adam has been here before. They come here in the movie Chef, which is one of our favorite movies. And honestly, it, it is everything I thought it would be. Wow. Okay, let's try something else. Um, I'm gonna try some pulled pork. So tender, so juicy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I have the rib here at Franklin's and I have sauced it with their espresso barbecue sauce. That's the only barbecue sauce they don't sell. And uh, I've had it before. It's a very interesting barbecue sauce and it pairs really well with the ribs in my opinion. Oh my God. When you talk about being able to see where you bit into and have it pull away but not fall off the bone. That is it right there. My goodness. I was only gonna get two, but I'm glad we got four ribs. Delicious rib. They're big ribs too. Okay. I'm going to try the turkey. I feel like whenever I get barbecue, I almost never get the turkey. But I have a feeling this is going to be very good. There is a turkey shortage going on right now. Probably because they got it all here. That's very good. Again, very tender. I think sometimes when you smoke turkey, it can be dry. I didn't think that was gonna be an issue here. There was a guy who was waiting in line just for a turkey sandwich, and everyone else was like, you need to get some brisket. So he, he gave in and he got some brisket. Oh, the turkey is very good. Okay, and then we also have a jalapeno cheddar sausage link. Being from Chicago, we love our links. Let's get a good piece here. There's like a little bit of a snap, but not tough at all. Ooh, very good, very good flavor. Some of that spice, that good spice coming through from that jalapeno. We've had we've had a, several jalapeno, uh, cheese and jalapeno sausage links since we've been here in Texas, and this is definitely the best. It's pretty obvious why people wait in line for this food. Well, we have eaten delicious barbecue here in Austin. And now, because we love Capitol buildings, we are heading over to the Texas Capitol. We visit a lot of Capitol buildings when we're road tripping like this. And I have to say, almost every time we visit one, they just happen to be under construction. I guess we just have bad timing or something. But yeah, there's always some rehabilitation going on. Well, we are currently inside the Texas Capitol. This is the extension area. Uh, it's one of the lower levels, we're just walking around. But the rotunda, when you enter, is absolutely beautiful. Very reminiscent of the US Capitol. But uh, very beautiful building. 
we're gonna continue checking it out. Well, that was a very cool stop walking around inside the Texas Capitol building. Um, really beautiful. We were talking about like the attention to detail. There are so many stars in all of the um, decorations. Is that the, is that the right word? All the designs? There are just stars everywhere. Door handles, lights, all over the place. Very, very detailed building. And one thing we were talking about is how how modern the Austin skyline is. You know, this city has really just blown up in the last 15, 20 years. And from pretty much anywhere you're at, you can see that dome. So they've done a really good job integrating the new city into the history and uh, the capital. It's very cool. Very beautiful red granite building too. Um, yeah, very enjoyable stop, but now we're gonna keep exploring here in Austin and uh, go find some more fun things to do. We're at Valentina's. It's a Tex-Mex style barbecue spot. It's family run and they have some of the best brisket in the Austin area. We're excited to get it. We got a quarter pound of brisket, a couple ribs, and then we also got two tacos in that true Tex-Mex spirit. Um, we got a smoked brisket taco and a smoked carnitas taco. And then we also got their smoked corn. So we got a bunch of food coming out and we're looking forward to eating it all. Well, the food has arrived at Valentina's. It looks absolutely incredible. I mean, take a look at these ribs and this brisket. They're giant, giant ribs. You can just see the smoke on them. We've got our moist brisket, more fatty one. They've got homemade tortillas. And right here, two delicious tacos, the brisket and carnitas. These are giant tacos. I guess I should have known. Uh, they were a little bit more on the expensive side, but man, the food looks great. I'm gonna have to open up a, a second stomach like a cow. Strangely, I'm going to go in for the corn first. Mm. So well seasoned. It's definitely not sweet corn. Um, it's, uh, I think, kind of a cayenne seasoning on that. That crema is really nice and that's a good side. All right, here we go. Brisket. Not gonna put any sauce on it, just gonna go into it. So moist, so tender. That's that fatty brisket, and you can see the smoke ring. Um, I'm gonna put a little barbecue sauce on it this time. That's the kind of brisket you come to Texas for. These tacos are huge, they look incredible. We're gonna get a little lime on both of them here. I'm gonna start with the brisket taco. It has guacamole and salsa on there. There is, there is some weight to this. Wow, that is a huge portion. A brisket. <laughs> wow. We're really trying not to over order at uh, these spots we're visiting and we, we just failing. haven't been able to achieve that. All right. I absolutely love chopped brisket. It is so tender, so juicy. It has very, very well seasoned. And then you have the salsa and the guacamole, just bringing it all together. Very simple, but very, very good. Also, this is a fantastic tortilla. Wow. The smoked carnitas. We've got onions, green salsa, and uh, cilantro on top. Also, looks fantastic. Piled high with meat. Hooey! Cooked perfectly. The meat is so tender and juicy. A little bit of sweetness, I think, coming in from the onions. Mm. Here we go, Ribbit Valentino's. 
cover in their barbecue sauce. I always say you should be able to bite into the rib, have the meat pulled back, but not fall off the bone. Perfect. Perfectly cooked rib. Well, we are sitting outside here at Cold Out Brewing Company. We've got a November Fest. And this is their house beer. The description is, what do you have that's light? So we couldn't pass that up. That was pretty funny. It's, it's about six o'clock and it is 80 degrees and we're just really enjoying being outside, enjoying this beautiful Austin weather. And uh, another great spot to just hang out and have a drink. We are here tonight on the Congress Avenue Bridge to see the famous Austin Bats. It is a beautiful night, beautiful sunset. City looks amazing. And uh, hopefully we see some bats. Well, we're at Austin Beer Garden and Brewing Company having a couple beers. It's one of the kid-friendly beer gardens here in the Austin area. Of course, we have Evie with us. They've got live music starting at uh, 8 o'clock, so hitting up a brewery, hitting up live music, it's kind of what you do here. We are ending our night in Austin here at Gordo's Big Fat Donuts, and that is exactly what we have here. We ordered the Naughty and Nice. It says it's the donut that started it all. It's covered in cinnamon sugar, and then we have a side of honey butter. It came with three donut holes, but two of those have already disappeared. But, uh, but let's go in on this big fat donut. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna tear a piece off. Look at how fluffy and soft that is on the inside. Okay. It feels very decadent to dip this into this honey butter, but we're gonna do it because oh. it, is, it is the way, it is the way it's intended to be eaten. It is warm, it is soft on the inside. It is so crunchy on the outside. Loving that cinnamon sugar. I'm gonna go for a double dip on the honey butter. Makes me feel a little naughty. Hence the name, naughty and nice. Yeah, that is, that is super tasty. This is definitely a great dessert spot. I don't think you should start your day with these donuts. 
this is the blackout it's a chocolate donut covered in chocolate sauce with chocolate brownie bites looks absolutely amazing you have to eat this donut with a fork and knife there's really no other way it is messy but it is beautiful at the same time It is covered in like delicious hot fudge chocolate sauce. But the donut underneath is still really crunchy. Here's some of the brownie that's just on top here. Yeah, it's not crumbled, it's just plain. No. It's just kind of like. It is just like literally placed. like chopped up brownie. That is very tasty too. <laughs> Adam's been saying that he really wanted a Texas-sized dessert, and I think these donuts qualify. So behind me is a spot called Cosmic. They have coffee and drinks. And we're in a food truck park because we're over here getting some barbecue. One last barbecue spot before we head out of Austin at a place called Leroy's and Lewis. It's out of a truck here. The line's already forming this morning. And this is a really cool spot. Lots of people here having drinks and coffee, starting off their weekend. But uh, yeah, another Austin morning, another barbecue spot. We're here in line at Leroy and Lewis. You know, one thing I really respect about barbecue spots is when they say they open at 11, they open at 11 on the dot and not a second earlier. Uh, but they just opened up at 11. See their smoker here behind me and the trucks over there. They have a great looking menu with some items that we have not seen yet. So we are getting pretty excited. We think we'd be getting tired of barbecue, but not yet. We have the smoker and here we have the truck. We got in line, I think just after about 10 o'clock and um, it is almost noon now. We are getting closer and the line behind us has just like tripled in size. All right, we have our barbecue here from Leroy and Lewis. Uh, I mean, I feel like we keep topping ourselves here in Texas. We have a bacon rib, we have beef cheek, and we have beef brisket. We've been trying to find menu items that we haven't seen elsewhere in Texas. We found two of those here today, which are the bacon rib and the beef cheek. I'm really having a hard time deciding what we're gonna dig into first. I think it's gonna be the beef cheek because that bacon rib is going to be one heck of a process to eat. So, let's go a little beef cheek right here. We're gonna go one of their barbecue sauces. We're gonna go that whole... Beef cheek's a very intense beef flavor. Um, it's seasoned like brisket, but it's uh, more compact. And uh, man, that's very, very good. This is the bacon rib. It really, truly does look like a rib that Fred Flintstone would have. Um, I may have said that before, but I was clearly lying because this is the biggest rib I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I'm just gonna cut a piece off. Oh, it is dripping with flavor. Wow. Um, mm, that is very, very good. Mm. Incredible flavor. Beautiful caramelization on here. Gives it sweet and smoky flavor. Perfectly seasoned, of course. 
It's like bacon and pork belly in a rib form. Mm. You gotta try it. Here's my first bite of bacon rib. I'm expecting it to taste a lot like pork belly, but admittedly, I've never seen this on a menu before. I don't know what to expect. It's almost like candy in uh, rib form. I mean, it's just... Wow. Totally worth it. Yeah. It's kind of a new barbecue experience for me. And I love having those. Okay. Another barbecue spot. Another beautiful, beautiful brisket here. Oh, it slices so easily. This is the, uh, some of that moist brisket. It's too big of a piece. Right. So tender. That's delicious bark on here. So we're gonna try their sauce. Another fantastic example, Texas brisket. I just, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to go home after eating all of this. Like I said, we have some good barbecue in Chicago, but we don't know how to do brisket like this. So, when they heard we were from Chicago, they gave us some of their jardinero. I'm just gonna try it without anything. Oh, that's good. Nice and fresh. Not too spicy. Mm. That tastes like home. We're making a big dent in this big old rib. Well, we made a bit of a mess here, but well worth it. Some really amazing flavors that we have not had yet here in Texas. If you want to see more from our adventures in Texas, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.